Excuse me, Yoshino? Hmm? Oh, if it isn't... um... Hmm... I'm very sorry, but who might you be again? In fact, I'm fairly certain we haven't met before. Is there something I can help you with? Oh... oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess you... haven't. Well, that makes this significantly more awkward. Yoshino, we know you don't know us, but we have a request. Can you tell us about Katomi? You want to know about the mistress? Yeah, we'd like to know more about her. And this is totally, totally not due to guilty consciences or anything. <laughs> no way. We just, uh, well... Asahi, stop. Seriously. Not helping. I'm so sorry about him. What he meant to say is, we've heard some rumors that the young mistress of the Sonata family has gone missing. And while we might not be able to offer much help, we've gathered together to aid in the search. Are you friends of hers from school? No, that wouldn't be possible since she doesn't go to school. We're people who might become her friends in the future, so we want to know everything there is to know. Become friends with the mistress? I mean no offense, but that hardly seems likely. Friends or not, please tell us whatever you can. What's driven Kotomi to become the way she is? Are you saying you've met the mistress? Well, uh, in a manner of speaking. Well, first, I must thank you for taking an interest in her. It makes me happier than you could know to be able to speak with other people about the mistress like this. What do you mean by that exactly? Mistress Kotomi is the heir to a noble family that has long prospered here in Akihabara. However, the headmaster and mistress were terribly busy with work. They moved overseas when the mistress was still but a little girl. This was over ten years ago, and they still only return home to Japan once a year at best. Any child would feel isolated in such a situation, and try as I might, I have failed to quell her loneliness. Which is why she made her many, many friends. So she did make friends? Yes. But perhaps I should have used the word created rather than made, out of blank white sheets of paper. So the dolls in that delusion were... Ko began to close herself off in her room, and invited her friends to live in the dollhouse the headmaster sent. That room became her life. To anyone else, it was empty. But to her, it was packed floor to ceiling with friends. So in the end... Kotomi just really wanted friends? That's what I'd always thought, but I was never able to succeed in giving her what she desired. And now she's gone, vanishing right before my very eyes. Thank you for taking the time to tell us all that. And thank you as well. The chance to speak to you about the mistress lifts my spirits. This has been quite a mysterious day, as I've been approached not once, but twice with questions about the mistress. Twice? Yes. Earlier, people calling themselves the Akihabara Freedom Fighters came inquiring about her as well. The Freedom Fighters? There's no time to waste. Let's go! Whoa, now, hold up! Saki, you need to calm yourself down. I can't. Not when the Freedom Fighters are so far ahead of us. I'm going after them. I trust you won't be far behind. Um, did I say something I shouldn't have, perhaps? Not at all. Don't worry about her. Sorry to get you wrapped up in all this. Well, whether we're the ones who find her or not, I hope Katomi comes back to you soon. We'll do all we can, okay? If you should find her, I'd ask that you please give her a message. Tell her that I will always be waiting for her, no matter how long it takes. Okay, time to see if we can catch up with Saki. Let's move, people! It's a personal computer pega store. Let's get some upgrades. A clothes shop. Maybe I should try to become a real fashionista.
Ocean Scape. We gonna go in? Go in? 